Hello and welcome back to another video. So I'm starting off the day, we're in the combi and we're going to go do some jetting and some surveying on a site we've done in a previous video that we didn't quite finish. Then I've got a blockage, still in the combi, which is because of a clogged up grease trap. And then I've then going to another site in the jetting van for some block toilets. <laughs> If you like this video, give a thumbs up and make sure to hit so that the end. Okay, so I jetted this line in a previous video, so now it's time to put the camera through it. So I'm just going to run it through, just do a general condition check and see how it looks. Right, so this drain is a stormwater drain that's picking up some gullies. So our first one is over here, which is a back entry gully. Don't know if you can make out the pipe coming in on the back. And that is taking the rainwater from the flat roof up there. So I've then camera down a bit further. We've then got another junction coming in on the left hand side. Now the one on the left hand side is taking this gully here. Okay, so I've now pushed the camera all the way down the line. And there's a couple of gullies all the way down here. Another one there. And another one at the end here. And then eventually we end up in this manor here where it joins the surface water main. So it goes right down the side of the building. So let's empty some gullies. So whilst I got the truck part where it is, I might as well jet this line here. So you can see the jet stopped at this point. Now this is it going into the next manhole. So now that line's all clean, let's get the camera through it, get it recorded. And I now know that this line goes to a catch pit, so you will see that in a second. So I'm just going to start off by coding that little bit of water in the bottom, just as 5%, but I've got to code it. So then we come down to this little left bend, so we'll get the code in for that. And this here is our catch pit, which is that manual straight in front of us there. Okay, so one more gully and then we'll move on to a nice grease blockage. Okay, so I was quite far away on this job, so it's about an hour and a half drive to get back to Bristol to go to this job. 
Right, so here we are. So this is the manor that was flooding. We've then got this grease trap here that's very clogged up and the basket's not in it. So let's pull the basket out, get the vacuum hose in there and we'll suck it out and see what's going on. So I've lifted up the manor that was flooding. As you can see, it's full up, near enough right up to the lid. So yeah, let's get this empty. I forgot how short the pipes were on this lorry, it turns out I need another one. I'd say it wasn't quite long enough. So for anyone who knows about grease traps, you can see something's wrong here. So in the middle there is a divider that's meant to look like the outfall side on the left and it's come away from the sidewall. Now, I've not actually got anything to repair this with on this lorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it back in at the end and we're going to come back and empty this one in six months again on a regular service. So we'll see if it stayed there. If not, we'll repair it then. So let's get that divider out of the way so we can give it a good clean. As you can see, all the grease is just sat behind it. Okay, so as you can see at the bottom of here, there's a hole. So that's where the water comes up to get out of the outlet side.
Okay, so there's actually another cover here. You can tell it's a bit greasy, but this one's not full up like the one over here. Now, what I think's happening is this line here tees in between the grease trap and that other manhole, which is a bit of an odd setup, but we're going to give it a rod just to see if we can get it flowing. Right, so let's use our side jet or the small one. We're going to give it a bit of a jet throw and see if we can get rid of some of that grease build up in the line. This grease trap's not really in the best condition. You can probably see the rusty hole in the bottom of the basket. Now, I was speaking to the site, and they reckon this hasn't been emptied for over 11 years. They weren't even aware it existed. So, let's see if we can get this basket cleaned out. We'll try and put it back together the best we can. And then, yeah, like I said, in six months, we're going to come back, empty it again, just as a regular service. So, we'll see if it stays where it's meant to be. If not, we'll have to do something about that.
I'm just going to run a little bit of water through the hoses and give it a bit of a suck through just to make sure there's no grease sat in the pipe. It's just nicer to not make a mess when you take the pipes apart. <laughs> So that's our day done in the tanker, but that wasn't the end of our day. So I've now got to go back, get our jetting van, and I've got two lots of restaurants with block toilets, so we'll go take a look at those. As you can tell, the weather is absolutely lovely. We're now in the jetting van. So this is our block toilet, so we've got the sink running, we're going to give it a flush, we're going to give it a good rod, and hopefully it's a nice straightforward one. Okay, so on to the second one. So this one's going to feel very familiar. We've been there before. It's another one of those sites where the drains run uphill and there's nothing you can do about it about replumbing it all in. I'd say it's usually a straightforward one, so let's hope it's straightforward again. So as always, let's get sinks running so when it clears, it washes all that sewage away.
Rooney. And there you have it, another day done. So thanks for joining me again today. Um, if you haven't already, please leave a like on this video. Please leave a comment. If you haven't already, please, please subscribe. It really helped me out. I'm trying to get up to 3K. I know a lot of you who watch these videos haven't subscribed. So if you could do that, that'd be amazing. Thank you. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment.